Okay, I'm going to show you how to install the new Buttonworks keypad replacement for the Fisher or the Western Plow Controller. Now this one is the 9400 six pin controller, uh, version two I call it. It's got the LEDs on the top, left and right side. The version one looks very similar except it has both LEDs over here on the left side. I'm going to have a keypad for this, but they're all the same for as far as installation. This is really easy. What you need is a flat screwdriver, Q-tip, isopropyl alcohol, I like 91% isopropyl alcohol, um, and I have a little squeeze bottle of it. So I rigged this up to run off a 9-volt battery just for demonstrate my test one for demonstration purposes. Now this keypad is a uh, it's a membrane keypad with a TPU rubber cover, so the rubber is squishy. It doesn't move up and down like silicone rubber, but the silicone rubber moving, um, I've heard a lot of customers, it rips at the seams, and I've seen that in a lot of larger buttons over time, where this doesn't have any really moving parts. It just squishes, so it's soft rubber. But... And then there's a membrane keypad on the bottom and it's peel and stick. So what you do is you just take the two side screws out. There's a long one and a short one. And whether your keypads just buttons just don't work that well or they're ripped out or whatever, this will take care of any problems with the buttons. So you pull out your unit and the, the original one is held in with like these little rubber tabs. So you just kind of pull it and it comes right off. And this one's been cleaned already. If you're having trouble with your buttons, there's probably a bunch of black goo on here and we got to clean that up. So you just dab a Q-tip with some isopropyl alcohol and just clean up the black goo like that. Some of the keypads are, are gold contacts and some of them are black. Uh, this particular version two, I've seen a couple different circuit boards. One, one is white and the LEDs are, are in a different places, slightly different places, but this is designed to fit both uh, versions of that. So any one with the, the LEDs on the top, this particular one will fit. So now that we got that all cleaned up and we're just going to peel off the brown protective paper. There's a little slit here in the corner to make it easier to pick at because we don't want to peel off it's multiple layers we don't want to peel off the layers we just want to get the paper off so I'm gonna peel that off and there's a little left in the corner which really isn't too important but I'm gonna take it off just so it does stick down to the board in that corner and then so now it's sticky and we just put it on there and it'll fit over the LEDs like that side is a little just needs a little help there we go now it's stuck down and that's it and then the trick the only tricky part and this goes with any replacement keypad even putting the same keypad back in you put this in and you want it to the keypad on the board to be in the groove there and then you put your wires back in that slot so I don't have that's gonna go there but it goes through there and then through there normally. And then when you're putting the other side back on, it's harder to get everything in the slots. And sometimes this one went in pretty, pretty easily. Sometimes it catches on the edge and then I'll have to like take the screwdriver and kind of just help the label part go in there or it like got squished and bubbles up. So there we go. So now mine's set up, I'll put the screws back in just so it doesn't fall apart in the demo and I set this one up with a 9 volt battery because I don't have a plow this is my test unit so I can walk around with it I can put it in the freezer and test it in cold temperatures like that so yeah so you push the on off let's see you know turn it on and you can hear hopefully you can hear the clicks maybe I'll move it closer to the mic um, so when you push the button the, normally you hear a click and then when you let go it clicks again after a short pause and that's that's how those work and then the lower one does not do that but if you hold the lower button down the float light comes on you can see that 
and then you push the top button, it goes off. So the buttons work great. Okay, that's it. All set.